Today, we discuss about the parcel of turn one in 2022, section C, question 20. Before we begin, I want to say that this question could be confusing and some part of them is contradicting. So I've tried to find some reference to support the discussion in this video, but if you have the exact solutions or you have different opinion about it, you can leave it in the comment section below. Let's begin. The first one is about the definitions. So I guess you can do it on your own. Let's move on to the second one. A hydrogen gas of one mole is heated at constant pressure from 300 Kelvin to 420 Kelvin. Determine the work done by the gas. So we learned about the work done under constant pressure is PDB, or we can use NRDT since only the temperature are given. So we have the number of mole as one. Gas constant at 0.31 and the change in temperature is from 300 to 420. So we have 420 minus 300. So we can get the work done easily. So 120 minus at 0.31. So the answer would be 997.2 joule. So now this is the first thing that is unclear to me. What we are given with the molar heat capacity in this question. As we can see that the molar heat capacity is given as 28.8 and 20.4 joule per mole per Kelvin. And we know from these questions that uh, if we calculate the value of R, it is not at 0.31, but at 0.4 joule per mole per Kelvin. So this is the first thing that's unclear to me that do we need to use the value of at 0.4 or we just proceed with the value of at 0.31. So I don't have the exact solutions, and in my own opinion, I will still use the value of F.31 to solve this question. Let's move on to the second one. A perfectly insulated cylinder with a piston is filled with an idle gas. The piston is pushed in with constant pressure to compress the gas. By using the thermodynamics process, explain the changes of the temperature in the system. So this question is also quite confusing. You mentioned about the perfectly insulated, which should be referred as a diabetic process, but you also mentioned about constant pressure. For my interpretation that the constant pressure is referred to the force on how the piston is pushed in. So maybe I would ignore about the constant pressure and refer the process as a diabetic process. So if you have different interpretation, maybe you can give me your own reason why we should not take it as a diabetic process. So let's go through the sample answer from me. It is an adiabatic process because it is not able to enter or leave the cylinder since it is perfectly insulated. So from the first law of thermodynamics, delta Q equal to zero, and the equation is W equal to negative delta U. When the gas is compressed, the work is done on the gas, which is then converted into the internal energy of gas. And since internal energy of gas increases, the temperature of gas also increases. So if you have different opinion about it, tell me in the comment section below. Let's move on to question C. An ideal gas of 2 cm cube at atmospheric pressure is cool to add constant pressure to 1 cm cube. It is then expanded isothermally back to 2 cm cube. Then the pressure of gas is increased at constant volume until the original pressure is reached. Sketch and level a PV graph of the thermodynamic processes. So I guess this won't be difficult for you. The first one is cool at constant pressure. So you can see the volume is reducing from 2 to 1 centimeter cube. So the first process is a horizontal line. And then isothermally back to 2 centimeter cube. So it expand okay, based on voice load. And then the volume is constant, pressure increasing, so it goes up. So this should be the graph for this question. And then we can try to fill in the values in the graph. Then we have the volume is from one to two centimeter cube. And then we have atmospheric pressure and something is missing here. So this would be a simple calculation that we have P1, V1 equal to P2, V2. And from here, we can quickly obtain that the pressure at the end of second process is 0 0.5 atmospheric pressure. We move on to the last question. An insulated cylinder fitted with a frictionless black piston at 300 Kelvin contains two more of ideal gas of helium. The gas expand isothermally that the pressure changes from this to the value. So this will be the third confusion in this question. You mentioned about the insulated cylinder, which should be the adiabatic process, but you also mentioned about isothermally. 
So these two things are contradictions that cannot be put in together. For my interpretation to solve this question, maybe I can say that the slender is insulated, but not perfectly insulated. So what can I say that I will solve this question based on isothermal process? So there's also another reason that I will choose isothermal process because the value of gamma is not given. Some people may say that helium is smaller atomic that we can get the value of gamma in this case. But I will still solve this question as isothermal process since the word isothermal is clearly mentioned in the question. Let us solve the first question. Calculate the final volume of gas. So we have the equation of P1V1 equal to P2V2 for isothermal process, but the information is not enough. But we have the final pressure and the number of mole and the temperature. So we can also apply the, the ideal gas equation instead that we have the pressure. Okay, the final pressure is 0 0.405 times 10 to the power of 5 Pascal. And then we have, uh, we need to find out the final volume equal to 2 mole multiply gas constant, multiply the gas, uh, multiply the temperature of gas. So from here, we can quickly determine the final volume of gas. So it equal to... So the final volume is equal to 1.23 times 10 of negative 1 meter cube. We proceed to the last question. Calculate the work done by the gas. So we know the equation for the work done is nRT ln V2 over V1. But since we don't have the initial volume, we could replace the V2 over V1 based on the P1 V1 equal to P2 V2. So what we can do is uh, we can replace V1 over V2 as P1 over P2. So just put in the value. So we have the number of mole as 2 mole. Gas constant on 3, 1. The temperature is 300 Kelvin. Long, okay, so we have the initial volume as 1.22 times 10 to 5 divided by the final pressure, 0 0.405 times 10 to the power of 5 Pascal. So the next thing, just perform the calculation. So the final work done, okay, uh, the work done by the gas is 5.5 uh, kilojoule. So I guess that's all from me, and I'm still waiting for the report from MPM to verify the discussion in this video. If you have the reliable sources of answer or you have different opinion about the discussion in the video, you can leave it in the comment section below so maybe we can have further discussion about it. So that's all from me and thank you for watching.